Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about one of the important parameters that determines the performance of radar system and that is nothing but receiver noise figure. So let's begin with the topic. <music> the radar receiver basically uses super heterodyne receivers and the receiver having rigorous requirement. So in order to determine the effect of various parameter on the operation of the radar system it is very much important to consider one of the most important parameter that is nothing but the receiver noise figure. The receiver noise figure plays an important role while determining performance of radar in open atmosphere. So let's begin with the topic. In this topic we are going to discuss the following point. And the first point is, we are going to talk about the definition of noise figure, then we'll also have the interpretation of receiver noise figure. And at the end, we conclude the topic with the help of few MCQ. So let's first interpret or let's first define the noise figure. In case of radar, the receiver noise figure is defined as the measure of actual power delivered to the actual road or we can say it gives in comparison or it gives a measure between the power out noise power output to the actual load compare with the noise power output of the ideal load and it is given by a formula now that noise figure is given by a formula fn equals to n out divided by kt0 bng or it is also equivalent to a formula that is s in upon nn divided by s out upon n out where n out is available output power or available noise power k is a boltzmann constant and its value is given as k equals to 1.38 into 10 raise to minus 23 joules per degree t0 is the absolute temperature and it is equal to 2900 kelvin bn is the bandwidth g is the gain of the system now the in case of actual practice the noise figure is basically used to determine or it is used to compare the actual output noise power with the ideal noise power now in the equation the term actual available power or we can say the term n out is nothing but the actual power delivered to the load and for that purpose we are going to consider the normal temperature range that is nothing but the standard temperature range t0 which is equal to 2900 kelvin now this equation gives us two interpretation the first interpretation is it may be considered that there is a degradation in the signal to power noise ratio as the signal travels from input to output and the second interpretation is the ratio of actual noise output power of the actual load to the noise output power of the ideal load amplifies the signal or amplifies the thermal noise and there is no additional noise get added into the system. Now the noise figure can also be defined as Now here delta n is nothing but the additional noise that is get added by the external networks. So we can further simplify this equation into the form. So fn is equals to 1 plus delta n divided by k t0 bng. k is the Boltzmann constant, t is the standard temperature, bn is the bandwidth, g is the gain. Now the noise figure fn is also expressed in terms of db and in terms of db the formula becomes fn in db is equal to 10 log fn. Sometimes the noise figure is also called as noise factor. The noise factor when we are considering or when we considering the noise figure it is always assumed that the input and output networks are matched with each other. In some of the application it is possible to achieve less noise even in the case of mismatching. But we require to consider or we require to assume always that there is a matching between input and output network. So this is what about the noise figure of the receiver. In case of radar, the noise is get generated internal to the receiver and therefore it is very much difficult to remove such type of noise which is internally generated in the system. And for that purpose, it affects the performance of the system. And therefore we require to consider noise figure as one of the important parameter while for deciding the receiver for proper application of the radar system. Now let's move to the MCQ part. The first question is, the input noise introduced in the network is depend on the bandwidth of the system and the options are false and true. 
Now we have just saw the equation of noise figure and it is given by a relation Fn is equals to K T0 Bn G plus delta n divided by k t0 bn g here bn is the bandwidth therefore we can say the noise figure is also depend upon the bandwidth and the option for the question is true so we can say the input noise introduced in the system network is depend on the bandwidth of the system is considered as a true statement now let's move to the next question and the question is the noise figure can be interpreted as options are option A is amount of signal degradation when it passes from input to output. Option B is the ratio of output noise power compared to the noise power generated by the ideal network. Option C is efficiency conversion from RF to IF level and option D is both A and B. So we can say from the equation of the noise figure we can have a two interpretation and these two interpretation are nothing but option a and option b so we can say option d that is both a and b is considered as the right answer for the question so we can say the noise figure can be interpreted as the amount of signal degradation when it passes from input to output and the ratio of noise output power compared to the noise power generated by the ideal network so this is what about the noise figure in of the receiver or receiver noise figure because of the rigorous requirement of the super heterodyne receiver used in the radar system, it is very much important to consider the noise figure as one of the important parameter while analyzing performance or the output of the radar system. So I hope you understand the topic of receiver noise power or receiver noise factor. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.